Sicily is replete with superlatives, which refer to old global treasures. One of the three most perfect temples in the Greek world may be seen in Agrigento's Valley of Temples. One of the most prominent Greek temples is located in Selinante. Ragusa and Modica are twin cities that symbolize Europe's pinnacle of Baroque art. Monreal's beautiful mosaics and fine cloister are regarded as European art highlights, and Palermo's archaeological museum has one of Italy's most significant collections. In this video, we will talk about top 10 things to do in Sicily. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. 10. Go to the beach. Long lengths of white sand that descend into the blue waters of the Mediterranean, Tyrrhenian, and Ionian seas are home to some of Italy's most incredible beaches. While many of these beaches include standard balnear amenities such as rentable lounge chairs, lettini, changing tents, showers, and bathrooms, some less developed beaches are situated inside natural preserves. Torre Salsa, a World Wildlife Fund natural reserve in Agrigento and Salinante, is one of them. You'll discover six kilometers of unspoiled sand beach flanked by white chalk cliffs instead of the typical beach amenities and hordes of sunbathers. The water is equally clean, transparent, and full of marine life, making it a favorite snorkeling and scuba diving spot. 9. The Aeolian Islands. These seven volcanic islands, some of which are still active, are located off the coast of Sicily and are readily accessible by boat from Messina or Milazzo. The best known is perhaps Stromboli, whose pyrotechnics light up the sky every night, much to the pleasure of cruise ship passengers who arrange their departures to coincide with the show. 8. Taumina's Townscape and Greek Theatre. Even without its spectacular Greek theatre and famous view of Mount Etna, Taumina would be a tourist favourite, competing with mountaintop Eris is Sicily's most attractive town setting. The alleys of Taumina open out into terraces, each with postcard-worthy vistas of the sea or mountains. The main thoroughfare, Corso Umberto, runs through the town in a succession of squares and terraces dotted with historic buildings, trendy stores, and open-air cafes. Lanes go uphill, eventually leading to vast flights of steps that lead to further vistas and a castle. 7. Parco Archaeologico della Neapolis, Syracuse. The archaeological site at Syracuse is worth seeing for many reasons, including one of the biggest theatres in the ancient Greek Empire. As you approach the excavations down Viale Rizzo, you'll get a sense of their scope, encompassing the Greek theatre and a vast Roman amphitheatre. The colossal altar of Hero II, built a century after the 15,000-seat Greek theatre, dates from the 3rd century BC. The Roman amphitheatre, which dates from the 3rd century AD and is partially hewn from bedrock, was built in the 3rd century AD. 6. Villa Romana del Casal in Enna. This substantial Roman villa outside of Enna was buried by a landslide in the 12th century, keeping it nearly complete until it was unearthed and excavated eight centuries later. It is one of the best preserved villas in the Roman Empire, with much of the original ornamentation remaining intact. More than 3,500 square meters of mosaic flooring depicting detailed themes from mythology and daily life, including hunting wild animals for use in gladiatorial combat, have been unearthed in the 50 rooms so far. The hot baths are charming, with the colonnaded courtyard and fountain. The villa has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 5. Explore Mount Etna by rail or cable car. Etna is a mystery, even its height fluctuates with each eruption, making it impossible to predict. Its often smoking cone dominates the skyline at more than 3,000 meters. Volcanic vents, fumaroles, hot springs, and lava flows contribute to the shifting topography, which you may explore on foot or in all-terrain vehicles optimized for traction on the volcanic surface, but not too near to the center crater. Roads lead to the cable car station, where you may take a day excursion from Catania or Taumina to the 2,500-meter elevation. Skiing near the top is possible in the winter. 4. Eastern Temples at Selinante. Selinante is one of Sicily's most significant ancient ruins, with eight Greek temples dating back to the 5th century BC and the neighboring Temple of Demeter. The most notable are the temples of the Eastern Group, which are designated by letter, Temple G for its massive size and Temple E for its architectural splendor, which is regarded as the pinnacle of the classical era. Temple G, which is now in ruins, was one of the most significant Greek temples. 3. Church Mosaics in Palermo. Mosaics can be seen in two of Palermo's three largest churches, the Cappella Palatina and Santa Maria dell'Amaralio, also known as La Martirana. 
the mosaic of Christ between Peter and Paul in the chancel of the Normans court church, Capella Palatina, is considered to date from about 1350. The Arabic stalactite ceiling, the pulpit atop carved and inlaid pillars, and the towering candelabra are all features of the church. 2. The Valley of Temples in Agrigento. The enormous complex of temples and tombs at Agrigento dates from 500 BCE. It contains Sicily's finest surviving Doric temple, Tempio di Concordia, and one of the most exquisite Doric temples everywhere. The eastern group is joined by the Tempio di Juno Licinia, which is almost as tremendous. In the western group, the Temple of the Olympian Zeus, which is the largest of them all at 40 meters but was overturned by an earthquake. 1. The Cathedral of Monrail. The Cathedral of Monrail depicts the Normans' political, religious, and artistic peaks in Sicily. It also earned a position in European art history, which is astonishing because it is practically identical to how it was erected in the 1100s. The cathedral's construction indicates a departure from Eastern Byzantine forms, but its glittering mosaics, regarded as the church's most stunning feature, maintain it firmly in Byzantine traditions. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.